Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the ASI 0348 Powdered Soap Soap Dispenser. The operation of this unit, okay, it's like that. Pushing the entire canister against the wall is what releases the soap, obviously. There is a... So the description below this video. 32 ounce cap counts capacity of powdered granular soap. Rocking action mechanism. It's all stainless steel. The polished lid is stainless. The wall, This is a magnet. The wall bracket is stainless. Um, the only thing that may not be stainless is the spring that's behind here, but I don't know that it is or is not. Uh, it is not stainless. That spring that's behind there, which I'm sure is not too great of an issue. Okay. Th um, the lever is ADA compliant, the, the uh, mechanism, because it uh, doesn't require more than five pounds of pressure. Dimensionally, there's a reference there. Let's jump to the cut sheet and see uh, all of the information that's uh, important about this. So first of all, starting with the dimensions, let's go over that now. You've got a diameter of 4 and 3 eighths, as you can see. Okay, sorry about that. A projection off the wall of 4 and 9 sixteenths. That's fairly accurate. Okay. An overall height of, of uh, apparently 7 inch. Let's take a look. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Now, included with this is going to be three screws for attaching, and then that Allen wrench that you see. Now, the three screws are obviously for here, here, and here. Okay. Getting access to that is going to be done with the Allen wrench, which we'll use to access the top, which is the fill, the spring-loaded catch mechanism that's there. Okay. really nice quality mechanism that's in there and you can see better as we operate that how it serves the soap okay the allen key will be used to relock it every time that it's used specifically regarding the installation aspect of it uh, there's a small amount of disassembly that you have to go through so with the Allen key, you're going to want to open up the top. Then inside of here, you can see right here there's like a flat spring. You've got to get access to these two holes. And to do that, you need to remove the pin that's holding the assembly together. And by doing that, uh, to do that, you pull the flat spring back and then you can push the pin out. And then you can just simply pull it carefully all the way out. And then at that point, you'll have your wall bracket. So you can locate the wall bracket. Uh, forgive me, I was mistaken about that spring being stainless steel. It's definitely not. Okay. Well, okay, what it is, <laughs> the magnet was picking up the steel on the spring back here is what it is okay wall bracket is all all the exposed surfaces are are, uh, are stainless steel um, now here's your wall bracket very typical uh, and your three screws 
installation. You're going to want to be careful about installing it uh, such that you are sure that you're in um, compliance with ADA regulations. Installations, installation aspect says the unit is surface mounted to wall or partition using the supplied screws through the holes for maximum usability and compliance with ADA guidelines units should be installed so that the bottom of a unit is 54 inch maximum above the finished floor AFF above finished floor when clear floor side reach access is provided or 48 inch max AFF if clear floor forward reach access side reach is 54 inch if you reach to the side if it's on a side wall 48 inch if clear access to it you lower it even more if you've got some sort of a vanity uh, obstacle if you're going for a um, a reach a front reach access, uh, access to the unit so if you've got it on the side and it's clear you can get right to it 54 inch if you've got it on the front 48 inch if it's clear if there's a vanity in front of it where you have to reach over lower it down to 46 inch bottom of the unit from the finished floor recommended installation for general utility is 42 inch above the finished floor or 6 inch minimum above the wash basin general guidelines where you install it, it will be based on your specific uh, you know, requirements at the job, but that's what the federal code says in terms of uh, accessibility compliance. Uh, we talked about the capacity. This is type 818 stainless, 188 stainless. Well, the number four, uh, a 20 gauge type 304 with a satin finish, a number four satin finish. Okay, less than five pounds is what's required for this to work which is directly related to this spring back here. So once you get the wall bracket to the wall, you're going to come in with this and hook it together. Bring that part back up. You're going to hold it down to the wall. There it is. Then you're going to start reinstallation of your pin. You'll have to push it in because you have to compress over the spring. You got it partially in there. Then at this point, you're going to have to open it up and get that. That's going to be okay. It's going to be all but impossible to do that on the camera without looking. Well, here we go. Okay. Line it up, and you get it pushed back into place so that that flat spring locks back in. Okay, now that rivet can't slide because there's a if you if I didn't point it out earlier, there's a groove uh, a groove cut there that that flat spring rides in. Close it up. You can just push it down because it is like I said earlier spring loaded. So the downside of this is that well powder soap is still quite common. I see it in a lot of instances. Um, it's an inexpensive product. I have found powder soap to be uh, effective. Uh, for use in a like a, a warehouse sort of setting um, uh, it's it's Achilles heel is if you lose the Allen wrench so you're gonna want to you know make sure that that is kept around uh, etc for use for continued maintenance uh, of this item because it's powder soap it's very low maintenance uh, there's not a soap valve that can clog up with old liquid soap etc and a lot of people dollar for dollar still find a great value in powdered soap dispensers if you have any questions on the ASI 0348 powdered soap dispenser, uh, an ASI, a full line manufacturer of all things commercial bathroom related, not only things that are kind of uncommon these days, uh, but grab bars, mirrors, waste uh, receptacles, combination units, paper towel dispensers, everything that you're going to see in a in light duty commercial all the way up to hospitals and airports in terms of duty rating. If you have any questions on this or any other ASI product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.